Hey guys, welcome or welcome to my channel. In today's video, this is the last installment of Talia's Guide to High School Junior Edition. Junior Edition! So, this part, since I was a junior last year, I thought, let's make this a three part installment. If you guys haven't seen part one or part two, or if you're just here because you're junior, hi, or if you're here because you like my videos, hello, my name is Talia, nice to meet you. Anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys things that I wish I knew as an 11th grader. But since I did 11th grade online, what I might say might not apply to you. I'm trying to give you guys like an overall view of 11th grade. And I'm trying to think about it as if, if, if I was going to school and thinking about it from that different aspect and thinking about it from home. Because going in 11th grade from home and going to, to school in 11th grade, two totally different things. And if you guys want make another, if you guys want me to make another online school sort of video like I did last year, let me know and I'll be sure to do that for you guys. But anyway, let's get to the intro so I can talk more about 11th grade, aka the year that is kind of like the hardest. Okay, same formatting as before. Let me add a piece of paper, give you guys my advice, you get the idea, okay? Alright, so number one, start studying for SATs and ACTs for next year. I actually am going to be starting to study for my SATs and ACTs because I want to take them in November so that I already have them out of the way. Although, I know for this year and next upcoming year that um, testing is going to be optional for all the schools that I'm applying to. It may not be because I know one school that I want to apply to, you have to have the tests and stuff. So, um... Make sure that you start studying for those early, especially if you want to go into college and you want to make sure that you have your test scores. And make sure you have them ready before um, whatever date you want to take them in. Continue taking AP and honors courses so that you can have those under your belt. So that way you can be finished with them by the time you're a senior, you already took all your main classes. I know for me, I took pretty much all my main classes. I just have to take an English, a math, and a science for next year. And social studies, I think I have to take social studies, and then those are the only classes I need because those are required to graduate. And I have after I take those for one semester, I'll be done. <laughs> um, taking a driving course now, I'm I am um, working on my Georgia manual so I can learn how to drive. So I can, so I'm pretty much teaching myself. I watched this video and this girl said that she read the manual for her state and she read it and then she also took practice tests to make sure that she got better each time. Um, so I think if I could find the video, I don't know if I'll be able to find it, but if I could find the video, I will leave it down below for um, driving, driving in general, like learning, learning how to drive, stuff like that. Anyways, next, narrowing down your top colleges. I actually have to do this. You know, your safe schools, which are schools that are in this in your state that you know that you get into that are safe just in case goodness forbid something happens and you need to stay home you need to have those your safety schools and you also want to have schools that you want to apply to for example i want to apply to georgia state university also want to apply to the valdosta state university the evergreen university which is not in georgia but you get the idea so i have like a few safe schools and then i have schools that i want to go to that are outside of georgia all right then Make a LinkedIn. I made a LinkedIn in like ninth grade and I made it because I don't know why I made it. I just made it because I know it was a school website. You know, schools look at that, so I made my LinkedIn. Um, there's numerous videos on how to make a LinkedIn. I would make one, but I'm still giving you these how to use LinkedIn as much as you guys are probably are. So, yes, make a LinkedIn. Make it look legit. Like, don't just make it be something random like on YouTube where people just have random these names and stuff. Put your first name, your last name stuff that you want to do in the future, etc, etc. Plan the club that you've been into, the club that you've been in, sports that you do, any accomplishments and stuff like that. Put that there. I think I'll leave my LinkedIn down below so you guys can see a pretty good example. I'm not on LinkedIn very often because I don't know how to use the app like that, but yes, check out LinkedIn. Start working on your resume. I actually, we started working on our resumes for class as a class assignment for the last year. No, last year in 11th grade. And resumes are very easy to make. You just have, there's a lot of examples online. There's a lot of um, videos on how to make a resume. We actually learned how to make them in class. So start working on your resume. Start putting down, you know, volunteer things that you've done. Stuff like that. Internships, which we're going to get into that in a second. And stuff like that. Which leads me to meet with your counselor 
to see what you're doing so far and how you're doing so far and also what you should do next and that's talking about school wise which classes you should take next and as a senior you know looking for internships and volunteer work over the summer and things like that actually i'm actually going to start looking for a job soon because i need experience in the field that i want to go into which is filmmaking i i, I have to have experience i have to make sure i work from the ground up somewhere so i need to get a job and get some volunteer work in um there's a, I know for in Georgia, there's, there's a lot of chick fil opening up, Goodwill, stuff like that. So you guys should totally um, check your school website. I know from my school, we have like a website where you tell us what jobs are opening or what jobs have openings and stuff like that. So yeah, I know this video was a little short. I just didn't have that much to talk about in terms of 11th grade. I don't know my 11th grade year, I kind of just stayed home, you know, kind of just like staying safe and things like that. Um, you know, and school was pretty much easier however it was also kind of difficult like towards the beginning i was really confused because the way my teacher was teaching us i got confused and it was kind of like a rival between the online kids and the kids who went to school because the teachers were only paying attention to the kids who were at school and giving them instruction and not giving us instruction so i was kind of like on my own and i kind of decided to figure out everyone was figuring out as they go and hopefully this year will be much easier because you know things are starting to slow down a little bit but also need to be safe so if you are going back to school like in school in person be safe wear your mask you know make sure you check your vegetables stay healthy all of the all of that stuff you know because your health and things that you eat play a big part of if you get sick or not and so just kind of I don't want to alarm anybody just be safe be cautious keep hand sanitizer with you wear your mask I know for my school I don't know why they're doing this but to make a mask not mandatory you're not making masks mandatory and i don't understand why because it's still covid it's still things are gonna happen especially in school school is bacteria like a festive bacteria and gross so i don't know why masks are not mandatory but if you're in school please wear your mask even if you're vaccinated because there's some people who are not vaccinated and legally they're not supposed to tell you if they are so just make sure you stay safe drink lots of water eat healthy um exercise if you can and just stay safe i really want you guys to be safe and if you can, stay at home as much as you can. And have a good school year. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll be making some more school videos soon. Um, what else do I have to say? Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next week. And make sure to subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And comment up about anything school related. Or anything you want me to do. Or just anything really. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And wear your mask. Stay safe at school if you're going to actual school. And if you guys want to watch parts one and part two, I'll leave them down below, which I'll talk about next grade and sophomore year. If you guys just want to watch those videos just to watch them, or you're watching this because you're a junior, congratulations. And if you're a senior watching this, I don't know why, but if you are a senior watching this, congratulations, we made it. Class of 2022, seniors, we did it. And someone's writing motorcycle as I'm trying to film my outro. Shush! Shush! Motorcycle! Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!